Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about executing a workout from the bind. Okay, the workout being that high horizontal uh, cut. In the past when I talked about this cut, I was basically using a, a large shield. So with the, with the large shield, I have a disconnected offense defense, which means that you know, I can keep my, you know, my shield here defending me and I'm free to attack you know, independently. You know, my sword can be all the way back here because I have my shield in front of me blocking. So from this position, I can, I can basically throw that high horizontal cut. Okay? Now, when we're using a buckler, uh, things change a little bit. Um, and you know, basically the smaller your buckler is, the more you're, de you're dependent on your sword for, um, uh, for um, uh, defense. Now, before we get into executing the, uh, this workout with, the, uh, you know, with a small buckler, uh, let's go back and just look at the long sword for a second and how we execute that. So with, with the long sword, I mean, yeah, granted from out of range, I can come in, okay, and make that high horizontal cut, you know, grab, you know, grab that tip on my strong, you know, and then attack with, with the tip over there. And the problem with this is, um, what if at the same moment that we execute this, this workout, right, this person decides that they're going to do something, like attack, you know, like, uh, like thrust into our chest or something, uh, in which case we're going to end up with a double kill. Uh, so for this reason, when I execute the workout, what I want to do is I'm going to first, you know, come in, you know, you know, with, with, with an overhaul, catch, you know, basically stop that blade, and then from there, turn it into a workout, okay? So as I come in, stop that blade, from hitting my body, basically completely cut it off, and then from there, execute my, uh, my torture. Now, one of the things that you will find is that, you know, if I come in, right, and if I step in, right, and I make my, my, my slope step, and now this leg is already forward, so in order to really execute any power from here, um, I, I'm really relying on, on my hand motion. I mean, I can't, you know, I, I can drop my body into it a little bit, like almost lunge forward a little bit to try and generate a little extra power. Uh, but the main advantage is that I have two hands on the weapon and I can use, you know, a, a push-pull basically. Um, you know, basically what I'm doing is I'm, pull, pull, you know, pull, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling this back while pushing that forward, okay? So that's where our power generation is. Um, and it's not a really strong cut. Uh, presumably we're hitting somebody that's completely unarmored, so we're hitting basically the side of their head. Uh, because if you get on a pel, all right, and you and you try this, right, you come here, from here, you know, there's a limit to how much power, you know, how, how fast you can accelerate the blade from here to here, okay? I mean, you will make an annoying cut, but um, it's probably not going to be a fight ender. Uh, you're going to have to follow that up with something else, okay? Uh, but because you do have two, hip, you know, two hands on the weapon, you can kind of do it. Now let's do this now with the with a small buckle. Now with the small buckler, uh, I'm in a situation where you know, I can't just stick this out there and really make a high horizontal cut. I mean because you know it is it is. You know, I don't have control of this person's blade. I mean, it is better than if I was fighting single-handed. So if I was fighting single-handed, I definitely want to meet this blade, you know, before I attempt any type of, of his workout, okay? Uh, with the buckler, you know, even though it's small, uh, I am, you know, if I, can, if I can keep my legs back, you know, throw my hand out, you know, I can make that, that high horizontal cut from a distance. So that is an option because of the buckler. Um, however, uh, to be, you know, if I want to get in a little bit closer, um, one of the things I can do is basically I can step in with an overhaul, control, you know, control that sword, and now from this position over here, uh, initiate that, that, that workout. Now, here's the thing. I don't have the benefit of the push, the bush pull because I only have one hand on the sword. So to go from here and generate a powerful cut from here, 
you know, even with my thumb on the blade, you know, that's, I mean, that's gonna be really hard to, to pull off, okay? So, realistically speaking, when I'm in this situation, right, and I come in from here, what I'm gonna do is from there, I'm gonna, you know, I'm actually gonna come off the blade and make that cut, okay? So I'm gonna come off the blade and make that cut. Now, I, I can, basically I'm making a small circle, okay? As I make that small circle, look at my hilt relative to the opposing blade. It's still protecting me. So, so from this position here, right, even if I don't have the buckler, okay, I can safely make this cut because I still, I still have the strong of my sword protecting my body. Now, I would much rather have the buckler than not have the buckler. Uh, the chances are if I was just fighting a single sword and I found myself in this position, uh, I would be very hesitant to try that because there's, you know, he can, he can sort of duck that and then, you know, attack me someplace on this side of my body. So, um, that is something that I'd be a little bit more hesitant to do um, if I didn't have the buckler. But with the buckler, I do have this extra defense um, and, and I can even try and, and, and press that blade a little bit. So, you know, as I come in, I can feel a little bit more confident about, about making that high horizontal cut, okay? Up here, there you go, and make that cut right there to the, you know, high horizontal cut. So, uh, there are my thoughts on executing a workout from the bind. Um, and, and the issue with the bind is that, you know, when you have either a two-handed sword or if you have a small buckler, we have to be really careful about leaving the bind because, you know, once we're in the bind, you know, we, you know, we, we basically, we have our sword protecting our body. You know, if I was to basically just, just leave the bind, come back here, you know, uh, to try to strike the leg or something, or even from here go strike the leg, I mean, there's a chance that he might block that, he might drop that, and then strike me with his weapon over here. Um, in which case, now I have this tiny buckle that I have to try and block with that weapon. Um, so, so, so that's why I, you know, I, I want to, um, I don't want to disconnect these unless I have control of that opposing weapon. So, by executing this workout this way, in here, you're making a small circular cut that just basically just comes in from here. Okay, the hilt stays in front of us, protecting our body, and we make a quick cut to the side of the head. Um, and, and with that circular motion, uh, we can actually generate some power um, so that this will be a fight ender. Now, what we're not doing is we're not we're not flipping it over on the back edge. We're not using the thumb over here. Um, I realize that there's some historical manuals that, that, that show this. Um, and, but in, in at this range that I'm at right here, right now, that doesn't make any sense. It, it makes a lot more sense to just make a small circular cut, you know, go straight to the side of the head and just end this fight. Um, as far as using the back edge, uh, maybe with the thumb, uh, the only time I would use that in this situation is if I got in really close. Now from this position here, I really can't, you know, make that cut. So from this position here, now basically I have this buckler, I can kind of control that. Now I'm in a position to make a short cut with the back edge. Okay, so that's the only time I'm going to execute a back edge cut, you know, back edge workout uh, with the um, with the single handed sword. You know, when I'm basically in close, where you know I can't I can't use my my true edge. And I basically have to use my back edge. Um, and then from there, basically, I will probably follow it up you know, to, you know, to another cut somewhere, uh, somewhere else. Okay, I'm not going to stay there. Uh, because a back edge cut from here, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's hard to generate power. Okay, even, even, if, you, you, know, even if you do a sidestep, I mean, there's, there's, you know, it, it, I mean it, it's just hard to generate power. It's doable, but it's hard, uh, you know, if you factor in the fact that you might be tired, um, you know, you know, you know, it's going to be that much harder to, to execute. So there are my thoughts on uh, executing a workout uh, from the bind with a sword and buckler. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. If you're not a member of my channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.